You're putting your own personal pleasure ahead of somebody else's pain and suffering, and that to me is despicable. Welcome to another episode from Takedowns to Breakdowns with a and and today we're here to talk about what everybody else is talking about on the internet. Neurosis, Scott Kelly admitting abusing family members verbally, physically, mentally, financially. I mean, this guy is pretty much the checklist when it comes to like abuse. abusing ab- abuse. So uh, let's let's handle this perhaps from different perspectives. The first the first part of it. Is that he came out and and he said it. It's not like somebody said it and and he came in. It's not like his, his wife or kids came out and said, "Hey, this is what he's doing." Yeah, this. and then he has to confirm that yes, and then all oh, that stuff. All of that is true. Yeah, but if you read his statement, he basically, the the way I read it, the way I interpret his statement was that he's trying to get ahead of it. I, I think he's trying to do two things. One is he's trying to put it out there so people know what's going on. So if something happens to his wife or his kids. He has nowhere to hide, and that kind of puts him in check, which is a really scary thought to have. Yeah, that I you mean, have to do that to yourself. Exactly, it's like you're letting the world know what kind of uh, what, what kind of asshole you are, just in case. Just in case you do something you become wrong, even more of an asshole to prevent you from becoming even more of an asshole. That's how I read it. Th- that, to me, that is so messed up, and, and I don't think anybody's even scratching that surface. Everybody's talking about, oh, I cannot listen to his music about anymore. This now, I don't think they're interpreting what he wrote. If you read everything that he wrote, and you and you try to understand why did he write it, it comes across from that point of view that I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stop me from doing something even worse than what I've been doing, or at the very least, continue to do what I've been doing by letting the world know that I've been doing it. So this kind of puts me in check. It forces me to be careful going forward. Yeah. Man, that's fucking messed up. You must be already that much of a dick that... You've crossed so many lines at that point. Yeah, and then you're like, fuck... You have to put yourself on blast. You have have to cancel yourself. You have to cancel yourself because you're like, fuck... Because you're afraid of going even further. (laughs) So I read it from that perspective, and that from, from that perspective alone is messed up. Yeah. It's... It's... It's really messed up the second part if you start going into the weeds of his statement at one point i almost feel like he's trying to now be the victim like i'm the victim of my own actions yeah which which is a completely new level of victimhood that i haven't seen before it's like i abuse you but i'm gonna come out as the abuser but it's not really my fault is this thing in me that makes me do it no it's you it's you it's not a thing in you it's you you are the asshole. You are. Doesn't matter how deep you dig inside, it's still you. You are the asshole. Yeah. So on one hand, it came from the first perspective, and then on the second hand, by the time you read the whole statement, you're like, is he trying to play the victim? Is he a victim? It, like he came across as not only my wife and I'm my a children in my own body. No, he's a victim of himself. Yeah. Like not only my wife and my kids are are victims of me. I'm, I'm also a victim. a victim of my own self. Dude, they're a victim of you, and that's it. Dude, like, really? I, I, I it, the first one blew me away, well, which which everybody still, skimmed over. The first one still because it's like, how scary is that that a person can come to terms with the fact is, hey, I'm a terrible person, but I could always be worse. And <laughs> you know, wow. There's always, there's always, you know, you can always go up the ladder. And, He's like and the Nickelback of people. I can make bad music, but. Could always make no, no, wait, the, 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 yeah, but in his case, he actually made good music. But okay, but I, I get what you're saying when in the reference to Nickelback. But uh, yeah, man, uh, both are fucked up. Both are fucked up, but the first one's very scary because, like, you have to be in a mental, you have to be in a weird mental place to think I need to put myself in check before I do something worse. Like, I, I, I don't think that never really comes to a person's mind that hey, a normal person, a no. normal person, no, you, no, no one normal is like. Damn, what I did was terrible, but I could have done worse. Like, no, no one says that. I mean, you're you're already. Uh, there's a lot of people. I mean, if you have like addiction, or whatever, you set you check yourself into rehab. I think that's a different that's story a complete, because you because can literally oh, you can always do worse to yourself. Yeah, with drugs, but I'm, or drugs, but, alcohol, but, whatever. But in it is. this case, it's doing worse to other people. Other people, like, not even killers do that shit. I don't know, man. This this that whole. The, the part that, that surprised me the most is that I felt like everybody's reading this 
and they just reading but that okay first part they don't they don't get no i don't think they even got the second part about him now playing a victim of his own self they just kind of glaze over that and now the only the only thing i hear people i hear people talking about two things one is can i still listen to the music without feeling guilty about it mm. which i mean if you even contemplating that thought you're almost as much of an asshole as he is just saying i'm just putting it out there just saying and then the second part is is them you know uh, in, people putting him on blast for what he has done which that part is okay you're putting him on blast for what he has done but you're you're kind of glazing over uh, over two critical points because it's not just what he has done is well he th thinks he could do even worse. worse yeah that, that's that, that's beyond comprehension mind boggling and then at the end to be so narcissistic that he thinks that he's, he's also a victim of himself i mean the story gets worse with every paragraph that you read from his press release and then he says, I'm quitting music. Of course you quit. Nobody's ever going to buy like anything I, that you touch. Like I said, he did what the long term would do. In, in the long run, everyone would stop listening. He'd already, you know, music itself for him would kind of go away if he just didn't quit at all. But he just did it just because he wanted and, to and get it out And he's a of main way. part of what neurosis is all about. There's no neurosis without him. There's no him without... Like, like, it, 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 there's certain bands that you can take some members out and the band continues to chug yeah. along. But that's the not the course. case here. But that's not it's not the case here. Now, I saw some comments today because the rest of the band members came out and and and, and put him on blast too, saying that he's a horrible person for doing what he has done, blah 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 blah. And then I've seen some fans saying, Well, now that the band said that, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, I can go back and listen to the music without feeling guilty. Uh, you, that's some gymnastics, that's Olympics. Style gymnastics of not feeling like a douche of, of not being the asshole that you are for listening to music that came out of a person that's as vile as this guy is because once again it's not just about what he did and what he did for a very long period of time is what he thinks he could still do that's worse than what he what already, he was already did. doing yeah like listen th to me this is where you separate the art from the artist I know for some people, for me, it's really easy. I'm not a big neurosis fan, and neither are you. So for us, not listening to this band going forward doesn't really... It's, doesn't like, really... How, it's like how I lived my life yesterday. So it, for me, it's... Nothing, nothing changes. Nothing changes. But now, for people that this band had a huge impact on the metal scene, on uh, on bands, on or musicians... Uh, uh, like, this band has, has really impacted fans, musicians. Like, it, it's had a big impact. It, it's It's... I hate to say iconic, but they are an iconic band. So obviously for fans of the band, for people who've been listening since day one all the way until today, it's a harder thing to do to just put that CD down, put that MP3 down and walk away. But you ha at some point in time, you have to draw the line. You have to draw the line because he may have quit music, but he still owns the royalties. Yeah, so he'll still make money off the music. So if you listen to his music on Spotify, guess what? He's still, he's still making, making money. music. Yeah. Well, he's not making music. He's still making I mean, money. I mean, still might making money. Sorry, but I'm saying like for this now, it's his life now will just kind of be like the in between of making albums. Like you're still making money off of the music you've already made. Yeah, you're not just from, not touring. You're but not... he just won't. He won't make money off of touring and new foreseeable albums. He's still making money. So he's still going to make money off of royalties, 100%. If yeah. you're listening to that music, you're still con yeah. contributing to that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying that the guy cannot make a living, that the guy doesn't have, shouldn't have an opportunity to redeem himself, but I think he has to redeem himself to his family, to the people that it hurt first, before he can redeem himself... To the world. To the world and to anybody else out there. I mean, uh, me not listening to his music or whatever, that's nothing compared to what his family has endured from this guy. So I, I think fans sometimes are so attached to a band. They glorify bands. They put bands on pedestals. They have this idea that they are these, these larger, well, they are these larger than life figures. But at the end of the day, they shit and piss just like you. Yeah. And you have to always keep that in check and balance and understand that that kind of behavior has to stop somehow. It has to stop somehow. And... If you're if if you are kind of glazing over it and saying, well, yeah, you know what, the rest of the band criticize him, so I mean, it's just one guy, yeah, but it's the main guy, right? So that's the first <laughs> thing right there. Second, you listen to him or his music, you're contributing to his paycheck. 
And once again, I'm not saying that the guy doesn't deserve to make a living. He's technically but, also con contributing to the other band members. But, you know, he can get a job delivering mail or doing whatever it is that he's doing. I, for sure, wouldn't be contributing to to to, to his wallet. And, and I think these things are... are you, you cannot, on one hand, vilify the guy. And then, on the other hand, play his discography on loop. I, I just... I. I don't see how you can do that. And, and I'm all about separating the artist from the art in certain cases. This is not one of those cases. Yeah. This is really not one of those it's, cases. It's and it's it's not just abuse though. That's the that's the problem. Dude, some of the stuff, let me just tell you some of the stuff he said. He said that he so he would do something and then for his wife not to come out and tell people, he would say that he would commit suicide if she would come in and say something. Like so, he would come up he with would build, he, he'd victim. He uh, would victimize himself. Yeah, he would yeah. make himself into a victim. And he would blame her for the fact that if she didn't. Oh, if come something out. if something happens to me, it's your fault because you're yeah, putting yeah. me in this situation. So that's one of the things that he's he victimizing did. himself. And then he lied about it. He would lie to people. You know, throw his wife under the bus. Lie that you know, no, nothing happened. She's just lying because she wants this or she. Wants... And to his kids, the same thing, saying that oh, if daddy dies, it's because mommy. But. Oh, that's that's fucked up shit, man. Just saying. Okay, now that I put that on, like now you know no, a little I'm bit saying, more. But I'm saying it's not just abuse, and it's not just like stuck because even even just abuse is it's it's hard to to redeem yourself. But like, kind of mental, like physical mental abuse. Mental abuse sometimes you know is worse than physical, physical abuse. Physical abuse. Because yeah. mental abuse can lead to far more... can be a lot more... Uh, it, it's, uh, well, it lasts a lot it's longer. Long, it's the long scars lasting. last a lot longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mental abuse scars last a lot longer than physical abuse scars. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's not just abuse. It's um, all the stuff this guy has done. It, it really does... You know, it does put a sour taste in anybody's mouth. So for the fact, the fact of just listening to his music or... You know him coming out with this stuff. It's not gonna really redeem anything. Like you listening to his music, you're 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 contributing to this guy still, right? Obviously, it's gonna be hard. You're for, enabling. You're enabling, but it's gonna be hard for a lot of people to kind of fully move away. And I, I completely understand. I understand, but, but I think you shouldn't. You shouldn't go on if you want to listen to the music. Listen to the music. I'm, I'm not... Listen to what you already purchased. Yeah, listen to what you've already purchased or whatever. <laughs> At least you're not contributing any more to, to But what, to I'm, his what I'm trying to say is don't come so public with it and, oh, can I still... Don't ask those stupid questions. I, I think people who, who go out and ask those questions already know the, the, the no, answer. They're, they're just trying to... But they, they want to justify the reason for them they to They want to justify their, their own music. actions too. But my, my thing is, I don't know why people do that. If you're... If you're if the same people who ask... Oh, because they know they're doing something horrible, but, but they want to feel slightly better about but it. But then people will tell them, no, don't do it. And guess what? They're still going to fucking do it. So it doesn't matter. I I, I think out of all this entire situation, situations like this, the people who do that are always very... I, I, don't, I don't know, man. They're... they're Kind they're, of pregnant. They're kind of pregnant. They rub me the wrong way. I, I They do. Because it happens in every type of situation like this, where people will come out saying, oh, can I still listen to the music? What can is your I moral move? compass? The, because at the end of the day, it comes down to a moral compass. Yeah, of course. But but the thing is, there's also people who just listen to the music anyways. And those people, I kind of respect more than the people who come out and ask. Because the people who come out and ask already know the answer. They just want that justification. And then even when it doesn't happen, they listen to it anyways. So... Th I don't know, man. It, they, those type of people rub, rub me the wrong way. Yeah, and, and and they're also trying to look for some attention themselves. Exactly. The other the people who just listen to the music and kind of stay out of the, you know, you guys do you. You do you. That's your own com mental compass, and you're testing it yourself. And you're not trying to, you know, make a big scene with it. So, and, and I can understand that if you're listening to the songs, maybe some of his the songs that... The, the band is released. Maybe they have a very deep impact in impact your life. Your Maybe life, you yeah. listen to that song when you lost your father and you lost your mother or you had something happen to you. So every time that song plays, that song has a very deep meaning that 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 brings you back to that time period. That song helped you heal some of your own physical and mental scars. I totally get it. I totally get it. But the, at the end of the day, 
you also have to think of the people that were impacted by his actions and continue to be impacted by his actions and the things that he has done. At some point in time, you have to somehow make a choice between what's wrong and what's right. And we all, outside of serial killers, we all have the ability in our brain to decipher what's wrong and what's right. And the people that come up and say, ah, in a couple of weeks since the band said that, like like a couple of weeks is going to make a difference. A couple of weeks doesn't, doesn't, take, away, doesn't take away the years, the years of, of abuse. abuse. Yeah, yeah. well, we were in sync there. So, you know, the, the, the point that I have here to finish off this conversation is that if you start already doing that mental gymnastics of finding a excuses and whatever you're already as worse you're you're as much of an asshole as far as i'm concerned you you're you're you have a horrible moral compass you're putting your own personal pleasure ahead of somebody else's pain and suffering and that to me is despicable despicable just I, you know like i don't care how much that band had an impact i don't care how important those songs were just think about it. Can you really listen to one of those songs now and not think about the things that he was doing while making those same songs? How can you separate that? I don't. I, I can't. Personally, I, I can't. can't. You know what I mean? I can separ separate the art from the artist in terms of political views, in terms of whatever, religious view, whatever. Or even even a, a member going to jail, serving the time. The You commit the crime, you do the time. Do the time. After that, Once you've done the time, I think it's you're, you've, In my opinion, uh, based on our society, you, you redeemed yourself you to redeemed society. Yourself. You have a chance, uh, a second chance, if you will. But there's certain things that, you know, especially... They're unredeemable. To, it's unredeemable, yeah. It's just, it's just how I feel. It's just how I feel. Sometimes you just go that far into the deep end. There's no coming back. What this guy has done, the, the press release that he released, it, it's it's the thing of narcissistic serial killers. It's out of this world. The fact that people are glazing over it bothers the, the hell out of me. the fact that people are glazing over the first part bothers me. Because that is the mindset that not even serial killers have. That I may do worse, so let me come out and, and stop myself from doing worse. Like... Dude, even serial killers are like, I want to do worse. I'm not going to fucking stop myself. This guy knows he's going to do worse. And he's like trying to stop himself, but also like trying to victim himself. So it's even, I feel like you're, pl he, I kind of place him in with the, the killer mindset. I'm placing him in the killer mindset there because that first part, even though people may have not seen that and now with us, they, they finally realize it. You have to admit that that does make your stomach turn a little bit. I, I was appalled by it. it I was appalled by it. It makes your stomach turn. And, and once you read that, uh, unless people are just hitting the red, uh, reading the red it, lines and not going into but, the, what but, actually was but said. Not only but that, it's kind of scares me too. Cause what if he didn't do that? Like what if he didn't come out and, you know, think about, Oh, I need to kind of put myself into this box to save my family. What happens if that didn't happen? Like you almost have to think about the gruesome take of, of what the fuck th this guy could have done. So, could still do and could still do because him doing this now doesn't stop him from still going. Yes, it stops him publicly because, but but personally it doesn't stop him because he can still do it. But yes, the repercussions obviously straight to him like he'll go right away, but it can still happen. So that's my scare. Like that's my worry. Yeah, I, I think he, him doing that is also a little bit of of the person who has a problem with addiction and trying to solve that problem on their own. The problem is bigger than you. Yeah. The moment you realize you have an addiction, it's already bigger than you. You need help. You know, you know what I mean? And and you putting yourself on blast, you canceling yourself. Okay, in, in in the short term, it might have some positive results, but in the long term, it's a it's 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 a bomb waiting to explode. Exactly. As far as I'm and concerned. And imagine like this guy now looking at like all the people like blasting him and stuff. That gets the oh, guy he mad. Have, he must have known that was coming. Oh, obviously he knew it was, but then you, you never know that gets the guy mad and does something stupid. Like, there's there's always possibilities with shit like this. But I, I'm telling you now, out of the two things we've kind of talked about, him victimizing himself and the first part with the whole, that first part does make my stomach turn a bit. If you want to listen to his music that's on you, you're as much of a douche as he is, as much of an asshole as he is. If you're listening to it on Spotify, then you're even worse so stop trying to do this mental gymnastics like you're at the freaking Olympics. There's millions Olympics. of bands out there. There's a million bands out there. Just go listen to somebody else. That's it. There's also a That's million it. bands that sound like other millions of bands. So if you and want I, a band that sounds similar, go try finding that band. And if you're going to do it, then at least have the decency not to even post it and talk about exactly. it. Exactly. Just fucking do it I have more in respect. the darkness of your own room I have, and, 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 and just 
live with who you are. I have more respect, and it's still a little bit, but I still have more respect for, for the people who kind of stay silent than the people who come out about it. Because oh. the people who come out about it, you're just trying to get a little bit of a... Like you're playing fame. the victim card, too. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm a victim now, because now I'm I can vi- listen to the music no, that I like. Yeah. Like, I mean, who dude, the fucking cares about they're you? They're the real victims. <laughs> they're the real victims. Who the fuck are you? Anyways... This is it for this. I mean, this has been all over the internet since the story broke, so I figure we would talk about it because we had an episode about how separating the art from the artist, and this falls right in line with that. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts. Uh, use the comment section, and let's hope we have a better topic next week. Maybe next week there'll be something brighter. Yeah. Maybe we should talk about Tommy Lee's dick. You know, I saw that online. Yeah. But I didn't see the dick. I, 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 I feel like we have to address that. I don't know, man. I feel like we have to address the balls in the room. I think I hope something better. If nothing better, then yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. On that note, guys, we'll see you at the next video. See ya.